awesome, absolutely awesome. I love it when a plan comes together. Definitely worth a look. The, um, yeah, it was well on par. Hello everybody, how are we all doing? So it is Thursday 22nd, I've got to remember that, 22nd of March 2012, and I've just got back from seeing uh, The Hunger Games. Now, here's, here's another situation that I'm in where it's a film based on a book, well, a trilogy of books, I believe there's three all together. Um, the uh, author of this book is called Suzanne Collins. Now, first of all, let me just stress, do not think of this as Twilight with bows and arrows, okay? It's not that at all get that out of your mind right now okay okay so this film quite an interesting story it's got behind it I, which I actually admired um, it's set in a, in, a, in, a, in a future where North America has pretty much been hit by drought fire famine war basically there was an uprising and um, a lot of civil, civil people as it were um, kind of took the piss if you know what I mean and after the war um, they um, it was no longer like the USA or Canada it was changed into a new country called Panem and or Panem however you want to pronounce it but it's spelled P-A-N-E-M and they divided it into 12 districts and a capital so 13 if you think about it all together and um, every year um, what they do is they have two representatives from each district to take place in a what's known as a as, a, as the Hunger Games. Um, pretty much, it's a fight to the death. Only one person will come out as the winner. So yeah, they, it's like it's kids killing each other, um, which which is pretty much sort of the focal point of the of the um, like the story. Um, but the the, the real the, reason for this movie is based on a character called um, Katniss Everdeen who's played by Jennifer Lawrence who if you remember was in X-Men First Class played Mystique brilliantly by the way and um, so she, she, she's the uh, lead character she's accompanied by um, well how it works is her younger sister Primrose Everdeen is selected for the Hunger Games but knowing that she's so young and quite vulnerable she volunteers to take her sister's place uh, which apparently for the 12th district is the first time that's ever happened um, they she gets partnered with uh, a guy called Peter Mellark who's played by Josh Hutchison and um, her mother as well and along with uh, a really good friend of hers uh, Gail Hawthorne played by Chris Hemsworth's younger brother Liam um, you know they they're, they're obviously you know taking care of Primrose whilst Katniss is away on the Hunger Games now what you have to understand is, is that as I say this is it's pretty much kids killing kids okay but it's not just so much kids killing kids it's how they you know in some sense they kind of work together working against each other as well I mean there's one particular section where you've got Peter um, leading a pack of other kids to chase after Katniss and that kind of worried me a bit I thought dude why what are you doing um, but it's not just so much I mean the first part of the film shows you the the, the place the, dist the 12th district that Katniss is from um, it's a, their, their, their entire district is pretty much um, made up of a lot of coal miners and um, they all they, it's a very very derelict area the district is so downtrodden it's not even worth thinking about um, the atmosphere as well is so low you can you can just tell that there's, there's this slight death stench in the air kind of thing as well at the same time um, but Katniss is really good with the bow and arrow you know this the, you see her going off to find her bow and arrow and she's actually looking to kill a deer as, as such how they survive for food Again, that's a very interesting take. Um, the way in here, how Katniss is hunting for food is quite interesting. Um, but going further into it, as I say, um, Katniss and Peter are both picked, and they get taken to the capital. Okay, and it's an entire whole different scope altogether. The capital is basically um, think of the most psychedelic, 
look you can get on someone and that's what the, the capital looks like you've got people with brightly colored hair brightly colored clothes um, really clean cut buildings it's just a it's just a haven basically um, we've got a former um, Hunger Games winner in the form of um, Woody Harrelson and um, he's like the mentor he provides advice to both Katniss and Peter as to how to survive as well um, Lenny Kravitz is in there as well but Stanley Tucci I've got to I've got to give credit to Stanley here he stood out really well as um, as a as a as a show host um, called Caesar C Caesar Flickerman <laughs> interesting name and um, he really does stand out he's uh, he, he's questioning all he's interviewing the, uh, the the tributes as they're known um, all the 12 all the 24 tributes from each district so there's 12 districts two two people 24 all together one boy and one girl that's how it's always been this is the 74th annual um, Hunger Games and you're seeing it partly through Katniss's eyes and also on a wider scope um, it's interesting how the arena is built as well it's, it's literally a big area of land but closed off in a massive sort of dome um, it's just amazing how this has been brought to the screen um, I've not read the book but I know a lot of people who have read it but I've seen tweets going left right and centre of people who have read the book and a lot of people who have seen it just I think it was earlier this week it was um, there was some previews on Monday in America and I've read one review for someone's actually done a review whereby if you haven't read the book you can read that review and if you've read the book there's another section and that's by um, the nerdy bird otherwise known as Jill Pan Pantozzi if I remember if I can say her name right and the website is called the Mary Sue.com. If you've not been on there, I suggest you get onto the Mary Sue.com. It is an awesome site. Um, so I read the review of for people who haven't read the books, and it pretty much gave me a bit of a, a bit of an idea of what to expect in the film. So as I say, going in, um, I've also got to give credit to Elizabeth Banks. Bless her cotton sock. She played a character called Effie Trinket, and she's just so pompous and quite bitchy as well at times <laughs> um, so she was very um, out there kind of thing but as I say as the film goes on it's the relationship between Peter and Katniss that um, really pulls this film together um, Josh Hutchison does a really good job as you know his leading role with uh, with Jennifer as well and the pair of them together work work really well and you can see it in the film and as the film goes on, twists appear. Um, certain things have changed um, from previous Hunger Games, and again, you know, you also get the sense that you got Donald Donald Sutherland as well, who plays like the president of, um, you know, Panem and the capital, and he's he kind of controls the games in some sense. Um, I say he controls it, but the actual guy who presents it is a guy called um, what's his name Sit Sinaka Crane played by Wes Bentley now he's very how should I put it he, he likes he likes the games but he kind of gets his hand forced in some way but without giving too much away you have to see what I mean by that um, but the president kind of gives him threats at the same time so he's not sure which way to go you know he's in the middle he wants to go one side but he's being pushed to the other so he's in the middle being swayed one way or the other um, but as I say it's because of these games that's that what happens is when the, when the winner emerges you know they become the victor they get given prizes and all sorts they, they have the chance to live you know not as a someone who's been punished for, for, for doing crimes or whatnot and like I say the entire story the, the way that it's written um, I think the director um, Gary Ross um, as I say he's obviously taken on a huge challenge and has done really well by the looks of things it's definitely one worth seeing so if you've read the books I'll tell you one thing right let me say this right now I got into the cinema right there was a lot of fangirls, people. Fan girls. Never mind boys. I mean, the, there must have been of a ratio. Well, I wouldn't say a ratio. There was like ninety-five percent women, girls in the in the cinema compared to the boys. 
so yeah and just before the film was about to start you had them clapping and cheering I was like it's almost like Twilight but without Twilight if you know what I mean but it was great it was a good atmosphere and even at the end um, there was a round of applause so you can tell that the fans obviously enjoyed it because these were people who have obviously read the books so they really enjoyed it um, so you know at the end of the day it's I think it, I think it will catch on um, there there's 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 been word that this could be the new franchise after say Harry Potter okay could this be the biggest franchise since Harry Potter well it remains to be seen who knows um, can it make a lot of money I think so it only cost a hundred million dollars to make roughly now if it's only cost a hundred million dollars I reckon it's gonna make five times that in in well within two or three weeks I think if word of mouth really gets around it will make a lot of money so anyway as I say I loved it really enjoyed it um, think running man <laughs> right but without the there is some there is some violence as well um, but it's all about tactics how to survive and you know it's not just about using weapons against each other because yes Katniss is really good with the bow and arrow but that's not her only source of survival okay um, there's even a section where they're, they're training and um, they're being told that don't just go for weapons because weapons aren't going to be your only um, you know your only, your only strength for like what, what you need to survive there's going to be other things other factors are going to come into play and it really is I mean it's a post-apocalyptic world for heaven's sake so you can imagine what else can be out there um, but but I love the ending I really did love the ending and um, it sort of it, it brought it to, to a close as such but you can tell that there's an opening at the same time which is why there's obviously there's, there's more than one book so as the slogan says the whole world will be watching oh no no my favorite one my favorite saying has to be from the film may the odds forever be in your favor ladies and gentlemen boys and girls thank you all for watching and i'll see you later